in this lecture let's understand in tree building we are going to build our kernel module by adding our kernel module inside the linux kernel source tree you have to add the linux kernel module inside the linux kernel source tree and let the linux build system builds that if you want to list your kernel module selection in kernel menu config, then you have to create and use a kconfig file. When you do menu config, Linux configuration will come in the form of uh, menus, and from there you can select or deselect your kernel modules. You can add a small menu for your kernel module, and that what we are going to learn in this lecture. Let's move forward. Now I have given a couple of steps here to add entry module to kernel menu configuration. First what you have to do is you have to create a folder in Linux kernel source tree maybe under the directory drivers car. Under this path create a directory called my custom device or something like that. Any name you can give I would give my underscore c underscore dev and there you keep your main.c after that create a local kconfig file and add the below entries this is a menu entry to select your module when you run a menu config command a menu entry should start with a keyword menu and it should end with a keyword end menu inside the menu you can add couple of config items one config item for each kernel module you can give a small description which describes your menu like here i have used my custom modules there could be many custom modules we have got one which prints hello world that's why this is a config entry or config item for my hello world kernel module a config entry should start with a keyword config all these are kernel documented kconfig writing syntax you have to refer to the kernel documentation that is this file kconfig language.txt to understand how to write a better uh, kernel menu configuration in this config item you have to use a config keyword along with an identifier this is the identifier string the kernel identifies your kernel module by using this identifier it is usually written in capital letters after that your kernel module can be deselected or it could be selected and if it is selected it could be a static module or dynamic module that means each kernel module actually has three states that is y m or n that you can give by using the keyword try state you can give a small description about your custom module as i have mentioned here hello world module support or something like that what is the default option whether it could be y n or m that you can give by using the default keyword default is m or default is n something like that that means by default uh, this module will be selected as dynamically loadable module this identifier will appear in dot config file when you do the menu configuration so i'll show you that and after that you have to add the local kconfig entry to upper level kconfig Let's finish the steps 1, 2, and 3, and later we can continue with others. Kernel source tree, source Linux. Let's get inside drivers car. Here, let's create one folder mycdev. And after that, let's get into that folder. Here, create kconfig. Also, you should copy the main.c here. We will go to the custom drivers 001 hello world main.c here. Let's open a kconfig. 
here add menu i would add descriptive name for my menu my custom or let me add phosphate custom module something like that after that end this with end menu and after that let's add the first entry config entry config you have to give an identifier name for your config entry we are adding hello world kernel module right i would call it as custom hello world after that enter and give tab mention try state keyword just give a descriptive name for this custom hello world module hello world module support something like that and after that mention the default selection for this kernel module m or y or n let me mention n it is deselected by default that's a small menu entry for our custom module let's save this and close this now you have to add the local k config entry to the upper level k config that's how the kernel build system will detect your local k config you have to inform that to the upper level k config let's do that so let's do ls here there is a k config no problem let's go to the upper level directory do cd and this is upper level directory and here open k config here go at the end and add like this source drivers cat viewer folder k config let's add source drivers care my c dev k config fair enough save and exit after that next step is create a local make file so now let's get into our folder my c dev here let's create local make file the next step is add this obj variable entry into the local make file first let's go back to our command prompt and let's open the make file what we created here you should do obj hyphen but you don't know whether it is m or y or n you don't know that because that what you are going to select using a kernel menu configuration that's why you have to mention the config identifier what you have given in the k config this is how you should write dollar sign open the parenthesis inside the parenthesis give the config identifier for your custom module that is hello world we have given the name custom hello world this identifier has to be preceded with a keyword config underscore if the identifier name is custom hello world you should mention it as config underscore custom hello world now this identifier later will be replaced by the menu configuration selection it will be replaced by either n or y or m as you select in the kernel menu configuration after that you have to give the target you can use is equal to or plus is equal to and here you have to mention module name dot o module name is main dot o you have to mention the object file let's save this and exit and what's the next step so now the final step is add the local level make file to higher level make file we have to establish the link let's go back to the command prompt go to the upper level and open the make file 
and you have to go at the end here you have to add your entry this is in car isn't it in car you have created your own directory that is my underscore c underscore dev so you have to add that the way they have added here i would add obj y because that folder is always selected that's why i would use obj hyphen y to select that folder we don't have any config item remember that to select a kernel module under that menu we have config item but to select our folder we don't have any config item that's why i'm directly using obj hyphen y plus is equal to your folder my underscore c underscore dev the kernel build system will come to drivers slash car and it will read this make file and it will go inside our my underscore c underscore dev there it finds another local make file and it will use that uh, k build variable obj hyphen whatever the config item we have given let's save and exit we have completed all the steps let's try the linux menu configuration come back to the top level directory of linux kernel tree and here execute make arch is equal to r menu config go to device drivers and here go to character devices and here go at the end here you see our menu entry fast bit custom modules go inside that this is the main menu and here we have to list our custom modules we have got one custom module hello world module support and you can see that by default it is not selected if you go to the help it will show you what is the symbol or identifier of that module by default it is, is equal to n exit and you can use the space key of your computer to select between multiple options here it could be m or star star means this will be statically linked to the kernel if it is m means it will be built as a dynamic loadable module i would select m here and after that exit so do you wish to save your new configuration you have to press yes here and now open the dot config file which is created just search for your hello world here it is let's quit this don't edit dot config let's invoke the module building command once again make arch is equal to arm cross compile is equal to arm linux gnu ea bi hf modules this is a command we use to build the loadable modules minus j4 here you can see that the module what we added is built so you can see that the dot ko file is generated let's get into that uh, location drivers car my cdev and here just run mod info on that kernel module and here you can see that it shows now entry is y that means this module is now an entry module when you load this module into the kernel kernel won't throw that warning message saying uh, out of tree module taints the kernel 